My bill, say the corruption. Let's think about that title. If you can see this, so can the FBI. Now, wouldn't you think that's true? I mean, they wouldn't be very good at what they're supposed to be doing. You know, like catching a, a national distribution center of a drug cartel. Now, they do have this evidence. And let me go on. Now, you've all seen, and you'll see a post, $274 million judgment against me by the cartel. Wow. Biggest in the history of the state. Except for, it was all fraud. It was a performance, like, like actors in a movie. How do I prove this to you? Well, how about this? You know, they've never taken a penny. Now, why wouldn't they take everything I have? In fact, I own a condo where it had their, an 80-foot sign with their faces on it. They bought the rest of the building, Dick Agonos. So I became the only condo outside of all that what he owned. But he didn't take my condo. Again, because it was a performance with that $274 million judgment. You want more proof? You're going to see a condo <laughs> agreement letter. Agonos is saying you're behind in your condo fees. If you don't catch up, I'm going to take your condo. Well, wait a minute now. Don't you own that condo? If you have all my assets, would you have that? Why are you threatening me with a condo fee? And the fees that are not paid <coughs> because you're destroying my signs. So I can't talk to the people out there. Right. So understand that. That's proof in itself that he can't move forwards. Why they're threatening more extortion is because they've got to continue to silence me. Because this is what it simply means. If that, all those hearings and that trial was a performance, doesn't it mean they are the cartel? Doesn't it mean Judge Tucker and Judge Delta before him were frauds and were working for the cartel? Yes, it does. And who was the lawyer for them? Bill Shaheen, the head of this criminal organization that controls your courts? And Steve Gordon, his assistant? It was all corrupt. And that's the panic. We're going to expose not only a cartel, but a network of corruption that includes your courts. Let's take a look at this. Now, why? Are they panicking? Why are they going through it? Now, you're going to see a picture of Agonos with the AG's office going to an auction for my home and a pro one of my business properties for a Department of Revenue uh, claim, which, again, is bogus, again, was forged, and was a threat for a release from Alex Walker. Now, think about this. The Department of Revenue's name along with Bill Shaheen's, on that $50 million settlement offer will show you their names. They continue to extort me. The same people who wanted to pay me off because they were extorting me. So here's their problem. The United States Attorney Lowen and the FBI has all this information. Not just information, evidence. The FBI is the one who told me one of my paralegals was a mole, Greg Theodore. They know and they spoke to Eileen Larry Landy, the paralegal, Aaron Day, my campaign manager and co-defendant, that I told you were destroying evidence. We're giving up witnesses' names to these people. They were working inside, and the FBI know this for a fact. To the auctions for the property, again, they can't happen either. Do you know why? Because the FBI has the signed Ford's uh, state tax return of the DRA. They have Walker's letters asking me for a release and leveraging the DRA. See? So we've got a problem. Either the FBI, and you're supposed to be watching, you're protecting a drug cartel. 
You're protecting a network of corruption that goes through the state. And this isn't just a drug cartel. This is the distribution center. Remember that video full of it? That video full of it had tons, many tons of fentanyl. Now, that figure came from the head of the DEA, Jack Riley. He's the head. He called it ground zero. He called it supplying the Northeast. The Northeast includes New York, New Jersey. You understand? The total amount of seizures last year by the feds of fentanyl was 2,700 pounds. 10, 20 times the national seizure. Where do you think it came from? The hospitals and the treatment centers and uh, hospice cares, pain clinics that these people own. To U.S. Attorney Lowen, this evidence has gone to a national newspaper that I'm working with. It's also gone to a congressman who's investigating. And it's also gone, the information, the criminality with the IRS that would lead to the DRA, to the head of the IRS, new commissioner, Riddick. You've got more holes in this than cheats. I know it, and you know it. And if you think I'm going to be extorted and finally give up, well, you've been wrong so far, haven't you? Each and every time, and you're going to be wrong again. Now, people out there, do not miss this opportunity. I am sharing with you the letter. My response to Dick Aganos in his condo letter. I also address it to the United States Attorney General's office, William Barr, and I also address it to U.S. Attorney Lowen. And it simply states, and as you can read, I'm not playing this game no more. I'm not going along with this performance. I am telling you, the FBI, and I'm telling them, this guy is the cartel. I'm t- telling Agonos he's the cartel. And this extortion ends because this is going to blow up. This is going to make national news. So this letter is evidence. Evidence that I want you to keep. That I want you to see. This is calling the FBI out. Telling them they have the evidence. Telling you that they know that this is the cartel. And people and children and are dying. And they're waiting for me to either be extorted or murdered. Extorted to my silence or murdered. So they each got it. I'm not afraid of this cartel. The letter you are reading has delivered to Agonos. As it was to the FBI and to the U.S. Attorney. Do you believe that the FBI doesn't know these to be a fax? Why aren't they contacting me? I contact them and deliver those evidence because they are involved and they've incriminated themselves in the cover-up. But whatever mistakes you made, whatever criminality you performed, it ends now because the hole keeps getting deeper. Mike Gill, State of Corruption.